Hey guys, so today um, we're just going to take you through Catalpa. We've actually put Catalpa on the market because we've put an offer in for another boat and if Catalpa sells for what we want, we will sell her and get into a bigger, better boat and keep cruising. Um, if it doesn't and we can't go where we want, we're going to continue. So we're just getting Catalpa to the stage where we can continue our journey anyway. But we thought we'd show everybody around um, because if you've been waiting to live your dream, this is an opportunity to get in a really cool boat for half the price. Yeah, so like Sarah said, it is a really good boat and like they say, it is turnkey ready. So um, everything's working on the boat. Um, everything's ready to go from the anti-foul, top sides, decks, everything's painted, done mechanically, everything aesthetically um, from front to back is ready to roll. We got hauled out in February, which was only two months ago three months ago. Um, so she's freshly anti-fouled. We are getting new sails made as we speak. Um, everything is in tip-top working condition. We will get our anchor chain and anchor galvanized before we leave here or before the new owners pick up the boat. So if we can sell, like I said, we'll sell. If we can't, we are gonna continue. But we just thought, instead of showing pictures, we thought you'd take you on a little tour. You want to start? I'll start. All right, let's head into my galley because when you live on a boat, you don't call it a kitchen, it's called a galley. And I knew that. There's not too much difference, guys, within a kitchen within a house and a kitchen in a boat. The only major difference is mostly there's less space. So it's more compact. Um, other than our la from our last tour, if you did watch our last tour, there's been a few things added. Not too much, but we have recently just redone the bench tops. Um, they are epoxied, so they don't leak. We have no leaking issues. Uh, this here has been nicely put on by my beautiful husband. This used to be like this. And it was stupid because all the water would go onto the floor. Another difference between a house kitchen and a galley is you will notice we have a ridiculous amount of taps. This tap here is we previously had a salt water pump hooked up because we didn't have a water maker and we used to wash all our dishes with salt water. We have a water maker now, which is way better. So what this tap is there for is when we make our water, we can run our water through this tap first. So we test it before we put it into our tanks. So that's what that tap is. That was a long explanation for one tap. Oh God, I hope she doesn't go on about the other taps like that. This tap here is in our electric tap. So it's like a tap at home. You'd think you're in a house. It's an electric pump tap. This one here is a manual pump, so you have to pull it up and down and it manually draws the water out of our water tanks. So if the electric pump in this one breaks, stops working for whatever reason, we can still get water out of here by pumping it. This tap here is our drinking water. So um, you can drink that, but that's straight out of the tank. This one actually goes through a, filt a filter a filter it basically is the same as this it uh, runs off the pump as well but it uh, comes through a filter first so that's cool and um, we've got a juicer a blender they live there because we use that all the time i have lots of hammocks because lee was sick of all of my crap falling around everywhere um, i'm attempting to grow plants that i've just bought and they already died before i've even potted them so that's not very good i haven't had much time with herbs <laughs> Everything else, uh, I've got cupboards with our pots and pans. Basically cooking, I use a fry pan or a saucepan pretty much for every meal. <laughs> um, this is our oven and it's a gas oven. Doesn't really have any temperature. You don't really know what it is. It has an on and off, <laughs> but it works great. I use it every day, pretty much. Um, that's the kitchen. It's pretty basic. Bench tops, drawers, cutlery under the sink. Lee has added these two little benches on just to make me feel like I've got a little bit more space. It's a bin under there. The difference with a lot of things on a boat than a house is things like this is strapped down because when we are sailing, we heel over and everything that is not 
Barson will actually fall. So in saying that, when we're when you're in a kitchen um, and you're looking for a boat, so if you're looking to buy a or you're looking to buy a boat, this is a bit of a tip. Um, check what your kitchen is like, because if it's just like a bench, this is for my preference, a bench kitchen is really hard because if you're healing all the time, you don't really have anywhere to brace yourself. Um, some people harness themselves in, but I think that would be awkward. Um, this kitchen's great because I can, I just brace myself in here and I'm okay. I manage. I work it out. It's all good. Gonna go now, honey, into the bedroom. Let's go to the bedroom. I don't know it. So, come on in guys. So this is our bed, Lee and Ivan's bed. Um, it's about a double bed size. It was smaller, Lee's actually extended it and made it a bit bigger, um, <laughs> if you can believe that. It was about, very that big. He's probably extended on, not much, but it made a big difference for us. Um, there's all cupboards up here for storage. This is our clothes cupboard in there. I'm not going to open it because everything will probably fall out of there. There's more storage under here and under here and we've got winter clothes and things packed away that we don't use very often. And there's also storage behind here as well. Um, under the bed is lots of storage and we store our dive gear, so our regulators and not all our dive gear, so just my, pretty much just our regulators, hey, under the bed. Um, we've also got a water maker. This is a sup board. <laughs> when you are on a boat and you don't have much space, you kind of push things into little tight spaces all the time. So our water maker is this blue thing under here. Um, so as Sarah said before, just a little bit more on the water maker. That's our two membranes here to the water maker um, and the actual units behind here. So it can all be turned on and controlled without taking it up top. Um, and also storage under our bed, that entire bed lifts up. Yeah. This is Lee's domain, but I'm going to talk about it today. So this is our navigation station. Is it? It is. Of course it is. What have we got? We've got a printer. And then we have our switchboard. So this is all our panel of electrical goodness. This is our ignition key. Everything here is all good and working order. Um, there's a big drawer under here that has got charts and books and cruising guides and all of the things. Um, anything else I've forgotten there, Cap? Obviously got the nav computer here, printer, AIS, there's a radio, that won't be in the sale, which is um, our Iridium sat phone. Um, VHF radio, HF radio, battery monitor, um, the Vespa um, splitter here and also the Vespa plugs directly into your computer so you can overlay on that blah blah blah. Um, got our ignition switch here, um, power board, all the um, switches on and off, so everything. Um, you can monitor pretty much everything from here. Um, that's about it for the nav station. There's a bit of room underneath here for charts and guides and that's about it. This is our fridge. It is massive. I could actually fit in there if I wanted to. Actually, Bella and I probably could both fit in there. Uh, but again, really, really amazing having a lots of fridge space. Under here we have our freezer. It's a 40 litre freezer. Um, and that again is really good like having a freezer. And we have enough solar panels and generator and everything to run it, so it's all good. The donk. So it's reasonable access here, you can get right around it. Um, so that's all serviced, all ready to roll. Um, new alternator, new starter motor, new injectors, all serviced, all new filters, all ready to go. One other little thing we do have in the engine bay here is a heat exchange. So if you do want to have a hot shower, we're in the tropics, we're not really that phased. It's usually nice to have a cool one. You do have the option to start the motor and have a hot shower. We have a heat exchange there. And our shower's outside, so yeah, it is nice to have a hot one every now and then. We have spent many hours in that engine bay. If you watch the movies, you will see that. This is our dining room area. This is where we have all our family meals. The table can go up and down, so it can go down into a bed, and this could be a double bed uh, for when you have guests aboard. 
Come with me, we're gonna go downstairs. <laughs> it's one step, so it's called downstairs. Downstairs we have a washing machine, which is very fancy, isn't it? Just like normal people. We have a bunk bed, this is a new addition. Lee actually made this bunk bed about six months ago. We had a friend come and stay aboard when we went to the Mentales. Uh, one of our favorite places on earth. If you wanna check out the video, you can. It'll be up in the corner there. Um, go and check it out, because it was fantastic. But he made this bunk bed up, and it now allows us to have guests aboard very comfortably, because they can store their stuff under here. Or you could actually put another body under here and have two guests come aboard. Actually, you could probably have four people. It'd be squishy, but it's manageable. This is Bella's bed over here. This is our mast disguised behind this beautiful timber. Not very disguised. In here is our bathroom. This is our vanity. You could actually set this up as it was originally when we bought the boat that the shower was inside. So if you put a long shower head hose thingy out of here and then you stand here and you shut the door, you could like wash under your arms and have a shower. We don't, we don't want to shower inside. We like to show everybody outside all our bits. No, it's just, we don't want to wet in here so we haven't done that, but you could totally do that. Behind this door is our toilet. This is where Lee does all his poops. Stop! And uh, in here is our V-berth. So this is Taj's bedroom at the moment. Up in here, pretty sure this is how he gets into bed. Ta-da! Um, this is the mini berth. It's quite large. It's a big, large cabin. The biggest cabin probably in the boat. It's got a nice, big, vented uh, air breathing hatch. <laughs> and behind here is the anchor locker. It's not really, this is a lot of area in here, but it's jam packed with things because we like to have lots of stuff. <laughs> Under this box is the anchor chain well, um, and the chain comes from the top down into that well. We have 85 meters of anchor chain, 10 mil anchor chain, and that has been plenty for us. This is the Viber. Thing under the bunk bed here, um, we have a 60 amp, um, battery charger so we will generally run that for maybe an hour as in the mornings if there's not a lot of sun around first up to give them a little extra charge we've got our inverter under here which is a pure sine wave one which you can run all your computers and everything off and we've got the um, MPPT um, solar regulator so all that sort of side of it's there um, back over here our battery bank, we've got our start battery here and along the back edge here is all the um, house bank. That's basically the inside of Catalpa. Guys, let's go have a look up top. So this is our cockpit area. As you can see, there's plenty of room to sit, lounge, sleep. We usually sleep up here if um, Lee and I are on watch and it's a bit dodgy. One of us, whoever's not on watch, sleeps here, either side usually. Down here is our helm area. And also, helm slash shower. This is where we shower. There's a video on how we shower. We've got lots of views. You should go check it out, it's right here. Uh, we've got surfboards up the top. Our tendo is only halfway up at the moment. It usually goes all the way up. Sandra is not going with the sail of the boat. Sorry guys. We're taking her to the new one. This uh, is uh, for tools. There's a hatch, there's a really big area. Lee actually gets in there. So that's how, how big that is. Cause you know, he's a big dude, big arms, bogged up. Gets in that hatch. That's right, there's lots of space. Solar panels. We've got our solar panels right here. They are two 330 amp hour solar panels. <gasps> got it right, yeah. No. What? Oh. <laughs> 330 watts each one. So 660 watts altogether. Got some of Lee's undies there. That's lovely, isn't it? Um, we've got two gas bottles that are 12 litres. 
11? 11 litres. Um, kilos. 11 kilos. Of course they are. They're 11 kilos and they are fiberglass. So if you watch our videos and you used to see you tell the bum all the time they had rust dripping all around the back of it from our old gas bottles, doesn't happen anymore. This is a little barbecue for when it's too hot to cook inside and your beautiful husband's just speared some fish. You can uh, prepare it here on this beautiful fish chopping board and then cook it on the barbecue. We love our barbecue. We're going to continue this way and I'm not going to slip over because we've just recently put new grip on the deck. Thanks Kiwi Grip, if you're ever going to do a deck on any deck and put some deck grip down, make sure it's Kiwi Grip because they are rocking awesome. Watch the video of us Kiwi gripping. It's not ready yet, but it will be soon. So click that button if there is one. So like, this is our deck. Um, at the moment we have aircon. How fancy are we? We're in a marina. This has never happened. It's really super hot and we are renting an air conditioner and it's made so much difference. It's making being here bearable. So we have a six person life raft. We have a beautiful mast that is 50 foot with some winches and things that pulls sails up, you know? You know all the gear. If you're looking at a sailing boat, you know all the things. I don't know all the things. Under this blue little zipper locker, this is a bag that we got made specially for our dive compressor. It's sealed very well. Ugh. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's a cultural tree dive compressor, so if you are a scuba diver, we are going to sell this with the boat. And it has been the best thing that we ever bought to put on a boat. If you own a boat, buy a scuba air compressor you will not regret it unless you don't use it of course then you might this cover is brilliant if you're going sailing in the tropics if you're going to buy catalpa it's one of the best things we ever added to catalpa we got it made in cairns australia uh, 2017 before we left along with the sail bag that has lazy susan's jacks ja <laughs> lazy jacks of course not lazy susan yeah, we're going to keep walking. We've got lots of fuel tanks that are usually covered. But they're not right now. We've got another beautiful box here. This box is awesome. We love this box. Lee has actually fitted it to the deck now. It used to fly it around. He tied it up. It's, now he's actually fiberglassed in some timbers and it doesn't move when you're sailing and it's brilliant. He's an absolute legend. This is where our dive gear is kept. If you want to buy this boat, dive gear staying you get that as well bargain mates bargain come on come with me these are our foot pumps for our anchor winch one is up one is down this is bringing it up this is dropping it down how easy is that mates dropping the anchor on the jetty that's a no-no our windlass is in great working condition thanks Doug if you want to hear a really cool story go to this video or this one and uh, you can watch something that's really really cool that happened to us a legend helped us out and um, you'll hear all about that that windlass there but it's in perfect condition and working really well and it pulls up our 30 kilo let's see if we can get this right Manson Supreme anchor that is about to be regalvanized so it's on 85 meters of 10 millimeter chain so that's what's in there. We haven't had any trouble anchoring anywhere and we've anchored into like 30, 40 meters in Indonesia because there's a lot of deep anchorages. She's held, the anchor is the best thing ever. Love it. We have a furling Genoa. This is about to be brand new, everybody. It's not there yet. This is an old one, but it's still fine. It's got nothing wrong with it. So it will be a spare on the boat as well. Lots of cleats, spare anchors. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much our boat. Oh no, we've got some more. The cameraman likes to point things out quietly in the background there. 
This rigging here, look at it, so shiny and wonderful. It was put on the boat in 2017, just before we left Australia. So it's fairly new, isn't it? That's right, a rigging lasts how long? About 10 years and you have to replace it. So guys, you've got plenty of time. Um, have I forgotten anything else? The windows uh, were replaced about three months ago when we had her out on the hard and before that we couldn't actually see out those windows so that has made a massive difference they're really uh, thick strong wonderful windows. But this whole top cabin here as you can see it's timber underneath um, and we have fiberglassed and repainted it replaced all of our windows I hope you've enjoyed that tour if you'd like to make a towel for your own and you want to start your own adventures uh, we recommend getting in touch with us because she's up for grabs and if you, no one takes her, we're gonna head off again. We can't wait to go sailing. And if no one wants to take Catalpa, then we're gonna keep going. Journey on. Love you guys. Subscribe. Bye.